from Sam's Club. struggling I don't know like I woke up late um, I placed an order for Sam's Club to be picked up between the hours of 7 and 8 a.m. Um, I got there at the end of that time frame dropped my husband off just got home um, it takes me about 30 minutes or so to um, drive back home from his job um, so it's spring break as well as far as like public school so you guys know that one of my kids do attend school just two classes a day at the public school here um, so he doesn't have to wake up early this week to go to school I think they did great by making um, spring break the week that time changed because we're gonna need this whole week to get adjusted readjusted to the new time change but anyway, I'm just going to go over what I did pick up. I did do half and half orders. So yesterday I had an order um, dropped off from from Walmart. Uh, and it's just my weekly haul um, of what I'm going to be making um, for our meals this week. Uh, and then this is the other half. So I'm just going to go over the other half with you because I've already put up my Walmart order. Um, and then I'm going to tell y'all about, you know, what the meals I'm going to be making. So today I'm going to be putting in the crock pot black eyed peas. Um, I actually have them soaking right now and I'm going to pull that out and get them started as soon as I can get the rest of this stuff put up. So I got some more butter and you guys, I try to keep at least a pack. I have already like a whole pack in the fridge. I'm so scared to run out of butter. Um, I do have heavy whipping cream because I plan to start making my own creamer for my coffee because you guys know I have been searching high and low for a healthy creamer. I decided to just make my own. Um, some strawberries. I have some grapes and my favorite cilantro salsa. Um, I love this stuff from Sam's Club. I also got, this is what I make Salisbury steak with. Steak and onions with uh, gravy and mushrooms. And guys, it's 18 patties in this one bag, right? So this is three meals for us. Um, we all have one. And when I say it's delicious, it is so good. So this is going to be a Salisbury. Sorry, y'all. This is going to be a dinner. Salisbury steak and onions for this week. And then I got the kids some, um, of course, chips. It's just cheaper to get the bigger bags at Sam's Club versus, like, smaller, smaller bags. Um... I got onions for my salsa and steak. And y'all, I have never seen onions so big than the ones at Sam's Club. And they, when I say they are worth the five bucks, I believe they're five bucks. So here's my favorite on the border chips. I don't go far without these. It's so huge and it's like five bucks at Sam's Club. You get, it's worth every penny. All right, so then I got the semi-sweet chocolate chips. I got some onions on there, onion scraps. Because we are going to be making our own cookie dough. 
this is going to be for the barbecue pulled chicken and we're going to have barbecue um tacos like i ran out of meal so my husband asked me to get some but guys i did not know this meal was like this big I don't know what I was thinking, but this is the first time I purchased mayo from Sam's Club, and it's huge. All right, next is I decided to go with coffee beans and grind my own coffee beans. Grind my own coffee, sorry, because I feel as though you get way more coffee when you do this. And I don't necessarily remember the price of this, but I will put it down in the description because... You get this is like a 40 ounce bag of coffee beans, and I have a coffee bean grinder that's over there sitting in the box over there that just came in from Amazon yesterday. This sea salt is going to be something I use and put in to my creamer because I plan to make caramel, uh, salted caramel creamer. And this is also going in my creamer. We are out of, look at these two. They're so funny. Good morning, y'all. Good morning. <laughs> my I, husband. I got to pick him up from school. It's a good, good day. Good morning, Zuri. You okay? Coffee. Yeah. Allergies, the pollen, everything's been hitting my baby. All right, so this is cooking glaze, Japanese barbecue sauce, and we ran out, and so my husband's like, you got to get some more, got to get some more. I was like, oh, okay, got right some here. more, and then, yeah, he's at work. Yeah, I had to pick up this order, so I just dropped him off on the way. Okay, well, I see. <laughs> he's so silly. So this is the vanilla <clears throat> at Sam's Club that is also going to go in my creamer so i plan to make creamer for you guys today uh, i'm excited so this is my little haul from sam's club then i got some juice for zorn because i would buy like the smaller packs at walmart and i was like hey they have a bigger one at sam's club i'm just gonna get that and then i have two of the what is this the 40 pack of water and then I have this um, 25 pound bag of rice I have three of these five gallon food grade tubs from Lowe's and they have screw on lids I just want to give a shout out to Brittany um, for putting me on to this and it's called leak tight so I do plan to clean these out and put rice put the rice in in one of these and it's going to be flour in the other and then i'll have an extra one because i had a reason why i was getting three but i can't remember why so yeah i went to ross the other day um i think friday and my kids broke they were playing in the house and um, they broke my last um, flower vase and so this flower vase at Ross was like $6.99 and so I went ahead and grabbed this and it's nice it's I don't want to say this is fully glass but it's like a mixture between glass and plastic I don't know but it's hard and it's beautiful so I plan to fill this up with flowers today today's juice because it's Monday I will be juicing is beets Apples, two lemons, not these, not juicy, can't juice tomatoes, and carrots. So that's going to be today's juice. So we'll get that started in as soon as I get my crock pot started. And you guys, I had saw online where you can um, sit your green onions in water and literally look. A week has passed and they have because they were cut down to like here and look at how big they've grown in a week so I'm gonna plant those outside either today or tomorrow so this is what I'll be putting in my crock pot so remember I said you have pig five so the pig five has changed to 
You can get any five meats for $22.50. So I think it's still a $20, but if it's chicken, beef, it's $20. But if it's something like this, it's $22.50. Okay, so now I'm sitting down, finally. I am gonna write out the rest of my day because it is 10.30. I started my crock pot, I haven't juiced yet and I probably won't juice until lunchtime. But Zadrian is outside more in the backyard. Um, I am gonna steam mop the floors today. That's that's on my list. That's a priority on my list. I am going to um, fold one laundry, one load, one load of laundry. Um, and then I have to start and I have to wash and dry two loads today. I need to get homeschool prepared for one o'clock. We do start homeschool right at one um, after lunch. And while they're doing homeschool, I'm going to start creating my one of my binders that um, I did have set for as a goal for March. So yesterday I went to Target and I picked up this heavy duty. I think this is the this is a four inch four inch binder. So I got that. I will be designing everything pretty much in Canva. I got page sheet protectors. So I got like three or four packs of those because this is one of four binders that I'm going to be making. And then I got these cute dividers. Um, for each category in my food and recipe binder. So I have about 14 categories. And these come five in a pack, so I got four of them. Just so I can have some left over for my next binder that I will be doing. And I'm also trying to figure out if I want to put gardening um, in this binder. I'm not 100% sure yet. Or if I want to put gardening... Um, gardening and herbs in its own binder by itself so yeah the goal behind the binders why am i doing the binders i'm doing the binders because i always need a reference guide and i feel like my family also need a reference guide as well so in my food and recipes binder it is going to be catered to our family there's a lot that I've seen online that people are doing that do, that that really doesn't suit me. So you know how you see something that works for someone else. And so what I'm doing is I'm critiquing it and making it work for myself and for my family. If I'm ever out of town, y'all know I'm taking a momcation this year. This is going to be something that they will be able to reference. Um, so inside it's going to be resources. Um, they're going to know like how to pick out, um, different entrees, like, you know, breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, sides, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to have, uh, an inventory log in there. Um, 
also a restaurant's log as far as like the restaurant's location um like a guide basically that we normally will eat out at or we would normally um order in so i will have like all the details as far as do they deliver to our location because some of them we live really far out and we're like outside of their like three mile or five mile delivery area so like it's just going to be something that everyone can kind of reference and it will definitely be updated periodically so all i'm doing today is just basically designing all the pages for the categories getting everything set up the subcategories uh, i already saw an error because i wrote all of this out over the weekend trying to go more from cooking from scratch um versus like and y'all i'm trying i know i talk about this a lot but i don't think you understand how hard it is to fully transition an entire family from like processed foods like for me i can you know i don't eat certain things i just don't eat it even though i may buy it i don't want it in my body so you know what i'm saying so <clears throat> it's like having to really get to a place where everybody in the family is on the same page so that's what i'll be doing today i do plan to relax um to sit back watch some tv like read oh boom read i do audible so my phone um doesn't allow you to stick like there's no jack to stick like a headphone in it so you have to use bluetooth so i'm gonna go on amazon maybe walmart and look for um a bluetooth to connect so that i can finish reading my books um i have books physical books and i also some of those books i also have audio with that i listen to while i read <laughs> i know it's crazy if you're a bookie this you understand you you understand what i'm doing so what's going to be priority today i have i've listed a lot so i'm going to go and get some flowers to put in my house because i'm excited to be adding some fresh flowers back to the house i'm ready for that picking over here so you see these right here I want to get one free key west bouquets I am not fond of these colors so I may get some tulips but then again I like these the roses and then I'm gonna get some baby spread so these are three dollars three for twelve sorry um, so I'm just gonna get two of these oh maybe I get some of these what do y'all think
little bouquet. And I think I like it. You want to know what I like about it the most about doing these things for myself is that I like, regardless of how, you know, I know some people make floral arrangements and they make them super huge and I just like making it my own. Like, I just want to be unique. It doesn't have to be full. It just adds to the room. And that's what's most important to me, anyway. So this is my new coffee grinder that I'm going to be grinding up um, coffee beans in. I will link this down. Well, I'll link everything down in the description. These are lids that go on to um, mason jars. And so this is what I'm going to pour out of when I make my own creamer. So you just kind of twist it on and they come two in a pack. This is a wide mouth. Well, I think any size mason jar where you can dry seal, vacuum seal the jars. And it came with a charger cord. And it also came with two different sizes of um, lids for your mason jars, which I already have these here in stock. But glad to know that you can just uh they provide these for you and i think you get three each in each size and so you just put this on the mason jar and you press the button it has to charge first so i'm going to charge it this is the mason jar funnel set that i got because you guys know it is a mess trying to do stuff in a traditional size funnel and it comes with like strainers as well so i love this less mess this i got to go inside of my instant pot because i do plan to start canning from my instant pot instead of buying a canning pot I went online looking for a canning pot, and the canning pot is almost $200. Well, girlfriend has her Instant Pot, so we're going to just improvise. And then I purchased a canning kit. So I pretty much will link all of this stuff down in the description so you can see all the things that come inside this canning kit. I have... Um, nine wide mouth mason jar lids. These are plastic and nine regular mouth mason jar lids. All right, so it comes with 18. It comes with the sealers on the inside. So two different size sealers. And then you have two different size lids. And lastly, I got two more 
Pullman pan bread boxes. Um, Y'all know the one that I normally bake bread in. Literally lasts the bread lasts a day. So I was like, you know what? So whenever I do my bread baking, which is going to be twice a week, I'm going to be transitioning this over to the bigger pans. And I'm maybe going to use the smaller pan for things like blueberry bread, banana nut bread, um, you know, things like that strawberry bread but these are going to be used for my sandwich bread and i do plan to bake two at a time or maybe four so twice like right now i have my bread baking days set for sunday and maybe wednesday and thursday it just depends on when the bread runs out which is around that time so i'll start early in the morning and start with two and then do the same thing in the afternoon on the same day. So, and then I just freeze the bread. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to freeze the bread, put it in the freezer so that these kids are not running out. And the whole thing just spilled all over the counter. So no juicing for me today. I guess I'm gonna have to fast on water. Come on, Zorn. Move. Let Zuri do it, Zorn. Okay. Come on. He's so funny. Zorn love to be outside. All right, so it's basically just leaves over here. So you don't have a lot to do. So just start here and just work your way on this side over here. Do you need help? No, you don't. Press the button. Now just push. Now turn and come back this way. Hey, lift it up. Push it down. Now turn it. Zuri swear he don't know what he doing. So I said, you got to get out here and learn. Don't run over no sticks, okay? Come here, Zorin. Come on. Yeah, I see the tree. Come on. You want to get a tree? Come on, come on.
Come on, let's get a tree. Over there. Which one do you want? Uh, hmm? Okay. This one? <laughs> yeah. No, this one. You want this one? Yeah. A tree. Oh, it smells so good, Zorn. Yeah. It smells so good. Me too. All right, you got your tree. Let's go. All right, so we have about three hours left on these black eyed peas, and I'm just checking them to see how they are looking. They are simmering pretty well, and I'm so excited, you guys. Number one, action. Okay. Number two, station. Good. Number three, location. I had to take a break. I had to sit down. I had to chill out. Y'all, my little to-do list just got shot. So I put the peas on warm because they're done. Just waiting on everything else to finish. And you can see I'm still boiling. But y'all, I'm just going to take the meat out and just shred it up. And then stick it back in the pot. Actually, I think I could just kind of, it's tender enough to kind of just break it with the spoon. Look at that. All right. Yeah, you could just break it up with the spoon. I might get a fork to kind of help me out. But this is pretty much, y'all, the black eyed peas. I swear, if I could put, if I could cook everything in a crock pot, I totally would. And I'm not cooking, you guys like hard meals i decided i was gonna make this challenge easy for me so i am gonna put some stuff in the crock pot this month that's going to no 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 leave it there no candy right now no candy right now i'm so sorry go in there with your brother and your sister Zorn is the most dramatic child that I have. I promise you. You want your tablet? Yeah. Okay. Here you go. He has his own mind, y'all. He don't let nobody tell him different. <clears throat> and I love that about my kids. I think all of my kids have that, um, that mindset. So, I plan to cook some stuff in the crock pot this month that's going to really um, be something new. Not as easy as stuff like greens or, you know, chicken. I want to do something. Because I have a lot of meals. But I'm just trying to decide because of some of the meals that I want to make have pasta in it. And I'm not 100% sure. So I may make like a crab boil. I saw that on TikTok and was like, oh, I love me some crabs. I love me some seafood, y'all. I love, 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 love. <laughs>
try the salted caramel because I gonna see if I have to add any sweetener or if the creamer itself would just be good. You getting ready to leave me? Just for a little while. <laughs> Just for a little while. <laughs> All right. Fuck it. You got the keys? Mm -hmm. Bye, Zoran. Bye, bye. What's wrong, Zoran? You want your daddy? Say bye. Hand me that pen. We got to get you a crayon, okay? I'll look for some crayons for you. Give me a second. Okay? Okay. <clears throat> it would feel good out here. Sometimes the cold is refreshing. Yeah. <laughs> You guys look. The birds are chirping. God is doing his thing out here today. Huh? I say God is doing his thing out here today. I don't need the car today. I love you. I love you. Have a good day, babe. You too. Bye. Okay. All right. Zorn is screaming for his daddy. Hold on. What's wrong, Bubba? Come on. You want crayons? Yeah. All right. Come on. Let's look for some crayons. Taking a moment, I want to say good morning. I just want to talk because I feel like I have a lot on my heart. Um, just want to go through a few things. First, I want to talk about today's devotion. Um, and it says, take time to rest and rejuvenate when you are running low on energy. Come into my presence and allow me to renew your spirit, soul, and body, says the Lord. Quiet your soul and be still until refreshment comes. Psalms 23, 1-3 The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path, paths of righteousness for his name's sake. And this is such a timely message for me. Um, one of the things that the Lord had been dealing with me on this past weekend was, well, not just this past weekend, maybe the last two weeks, um, we all get in a rut where we have these really big expectations for ourselves um, that sometimes I believe God don't even put on us. We put on ourselves. Um, and so for the past two or three weeks, I know that the Lord had been dealing with me in the area of his provision for me and for my family. Um, and so I had been really digging deep about that, praying about that. And, um, and the release came Saturday morning, Saturday. Um, so Saturday, I just want to paint the picture for you. It pretty much rained the entire day. 
so it was like we had plans we had plans to do all kind of things on saturday so it rained from like 4 a.m to like 7 p.m at our house when i say everything was shut down and it kind of forced us to rest so in that my husband and i we do this thing on saturday mornings called coffee conversations where me and him we will sit and we will like pray and we'll talk um and we'll really address the spiritual needs that we have um the spiritual struggles needs and everything god has always been present he's always provided his provision has never left us and so as a homemaker sometimes like as a person who has always like pretty much spent her whole life working homemaking was not something that i was even interested in i feel like god turned my heart towards this over time and i honestly some days don't even recognize myself so whenever i did decide to leave my six-figure job it was definitely a god move but it did not come without stress and worry and trying to figure things out and, you know, learning to live on what income wasn't easy. Um, and so what I truly believe now through God's word is as long as I am doing what he called me to do and I do it with a pure heart and I am helping others. Um, this is really a true ministry for me. Like, I don't want to represent homemaking in a way of um, living this perfect, soft life because it is not perfect. It is hard. It is emotional. It is stressful. <clears throat> it is also at the same time rewarding. And it is um, something that you can take much pride in um and so saturday while we were talking i just realized that over the past 17 years he's never failed us he's never left us and it just gave me like this big boost to not just appreciate what god is doing but to share that with others like do we go through things? Absolutely. But my focus is not going to always be where I'm going to be sharing with you negative things. I realize a lot of people fluctuate to videos and content creators who push out negativity or you know push out things. Now, I'm going to be as real and as authentic as I know how to be. I'm just going to be me. But I am learning how to shift my mindset to be more positive, to be more thankful, to be more graceful. Um, and so, yeah, you're going to get some raw and candid moments. But I feel like in the midst of a lot of the things that I go through, I feel like that is a is something that I really need to get right with just me and God. So I really want you guys to take this opportunity to... Be okay with whatever season you're in. Um, rest. Is rest a trauma response? Because is rest something you don't like to do? I know I struggle with resting, um, sitting, because I grew up. And it just made it feel like if I sat for even a, even a minute, it made me feel like I was being lazy. And... I don't know how you guys grew up. You can tell me down in the comments, but I'm learning how to walk away from that. Like, it's okay to rest. It's okay. There's always a time to work. There's always a time to rest. There's always a time to enjoy your life. So a lot of times I see homemakers like constantly doing, 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 getting it all done, but a lot of us are doing a really poor job with sharing what rest looks like, like peace in the home looks like, 
um, how you can manage stress, how you can do things that will rejuvenate you um, because you do wear so many hats. And so I want to make sure that um, this channel is a reflection of my love for my family, my love for Jesus, but also a love for myself. Um, I simply cannot do this if I'm stressed out all the time, if I'm like stretched thin. Um, I don't see how women can do that. Um, also want to find moments where I can hear from the Lord. Um, that's very important to me. So that's the number one reason why rest is so important. Like hear from the Lord, L allow his word to minister to you, allow his love to rejuvenate you. I just want to make sure that we're all on the same page about what true homemaking is. Mm -hmm.